हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल सो दिस इज संडे मॉर्निंग द डे बिफोर द वीक आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर यू अ बेटर वे टू मेक डोसा विच इज हेल्थियर सो दिस इज ग्रीन ग्राम आई एम यूजिंग टू मेक डोसा आई बी सोकिंग इट फॉर द डे एंड आई बी ग्राइंडिंग इट टू डे इवनिंग एंड देन आई बी मेकिंग डोसा द नेक्स्ट डे so that's one and a half cup of green gram along with one cup of rice which is idli rice it is the same procedure to make the dosa batter instead of using idli rice only i'm adding green gram with one is to one ratio so that's one and a half cup of green gram with 1 cup of rice and half cup of urad dal so i'll be soaking it rinse it before you soak it it's methi which is very greek and soaking it along with it it's good for stomach that's kept aside for the whole day This is evening. I'm washing it and draining the water. That's ready. So I'm going to grind this. I'm using mixer jar to grind it. So that's done. I've made two portions of it, keeping the lids slightly open. That's dinner preparation. I'm going to make rotis. So I'm using whole wheat. I'll show you how I knead the dough without spilling it around, and how well I knead it without getting it stick to the container or vessel, whichever you use. So I have taken the requirements and kept it aside. I've added half teaspoon of salt and mixing it roughly. Add water slowly and knead the dough. I make sure to knead the flour very well so it doesn't get stick to the container. So I'm applying slight oil. That's very less oil I'm using to become non-stick. I'm using dry flour. I'm just rubbing it all around. needed well and that's almost done slight oil of light and the hand is totally clean as well as the vessel close the lid let it get set You can see that there is no spill around the vessel, and after some time, I'm checking that it's too soft. I use towel when I make rotis, and once done, the remaining dough I keep it in a 
airtight container close the lid tightly and that goes directly into the freezer you can use it even after two days color will not change washing the vessels getting it done After washing the vessels, I just give a rough clean all over the countertop. That's the Colin spray bottle, but I'm not using Colin. That's a DIY formula I'm using to clean the countertop. 75% of water, 5 ml of soap oil, and 5 ml of vinegar, along with baking soda. So just giving a spray all over and wiping it clean. try that's the shrine I want Spraying it finally over the sink and leave it. Everything is done. That Sunday night, clean kitchen, the look I wanted. I'll feel relief all over the week. Checking the dosa batter, it is fermented. Closing the lid and keeping it inside the fridge. The other one is for breakfast, so it is outside. I keep it below the freezer. That's one full glass of water. I'm drinking it. And that's early morning skincare routine I follow. Rose water, hand cream. And if I feel my skin is dry, apply some cream on it. That's a view from my kitchen. Try to ventilate all over your house. Keep the windows and door open early in the morning for the fresh breeze to come inside the house.
I spent 20 minutes for workout just to strengthen myself and get fresh to make my day start. That's a very small container but you can see that the milk is not out because I kept it in low flame. And that's a very simple scenery drawn by me for my daughter as she loves coloring. I kept it for her when she comes and color it. I made the lunch ready. I did not make rice alone because I, since it's a working from home, I'll be making it late at least by 11 or 12. So that's breakfast getting ready. You can see that the dosa is exactly they have. We have normal dosa, but it's healthier. Both the lunch and breakfast are ready, except rice because I wanted hot served for lunch. So that's dosa and beetroot ready. I made beetroot for lunch as well as for breakfast. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it would help you in any ways in your life. Please be awaited for next more interesting videos. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.